Um, and as an employer myself, and indeed my father before me, going back to 1955, and uh, my son who now operates the business, I, I don't know how many years of that, it is over 70 years anyway, or it is almost 70 years. Um, and I have to say, Minister, that Friday evening payday comes very quick on business. And I say to you, Minister, that, that this is the best country in the world if it was managed properly. And, and we have uh, TDs over here on this side saying the country is awash with money. But if it is, there's people paying for it. There's people paying for diesel and petrol and excise and VAT and those things. People that have to travel the roads to get to work and paying an exorbitant price for it didn't being paid in any other country. The battle of oil is cheaper today than it was, has been for a long time, in spite of what's happening here in Ireland. And um, the squandering of money, the reckless squandering of money, and, and we, we hear where we must opt into this, you tell us we must opt into this EU migration pact. How is it that we must do that? And that's what he said. But Denmark and other countries, uh, and other countries, are not opting in at all, and haven't opted in. And we'll just take Denmark as an example. They have a proper home care service for all, for, for, for all elderly people, where they see after them, mostly at home, rarely is the need to go into a nursing home or into a community hospital, because they've been properly seen after there and properly paid for there. To get, to, it's impossible to get home help for elderly people, uh, to keep them at home. You may get 20 minutes in the morning, you may get 20 minutes in the evening, you'll get nothing, bank holiday weekends are for the weekend. The, the, is it the way that they get, people get better? Are, are that like Lazarus for the weekend and they, they get sick again or, or get elderly again uh, on, mon on Monday and they get a few minutes? It, it's a shame, uh, Minister, what's happening. And um, then the, the, what businesses have to go through? And we, it was granted to increase the minimum wage, but it increased the maximum wage as well. Because people go, go pro rata, and businesses are feeling that on top of all the other things, the VAT and the, the holidays, it's granted to give holidays to people, and, and it's, it's, it's powerful, but someone has to pay for it, and it's businesses that have to do it. Uh, so, Dean, we, we need, this is not clear at all. Is this going to be on top of, uh, is this pension going to be on top of the pensions that people are getting already? And, and how many years of contribution is needed to get a full contributory pension? He said it is from the ages of 23 to 60, but people are working much longer. And, and 20, if they're under uh, the 20,000 and don't opt in, will they qualify for any pension? Ensure, we, we have to ensure that the pension age is not going to be increased. Uh, you have to realize, Minister, that businesses and many people are paying 40% tax, and some of them 52% tax, and 4.5% USC down on top of that. And when we see 860,000 euros being spent to bring dogs and cats uh, in, into the country, and the country is alive with dogs. If, I could, if the dogs could vote for me, every door that I knock it, there, there's dogs around it there in every yard. And we have plenty of dogs here without paying for to bring any more dogs. And I can assure you there's plenty of cats as well. And then we have up to two and a half billion spent on migration. We spent 29 million on the, on the referendum. Look what that do, would do for cancer patients. I see a great group of people last Sunday morning uh, collecting for the uh, car carry link cancer bus to take people who have cancer up to, up to, uh, up to Cork for, to the treatment uh, for tre index, the, the CUH hospital. And I mean, the, 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 that has to be fo by, funded by volunteers. That's a, that's a shambles. I, I know these people are doing great work. And, and we appreciate them for what they're doing, for seeing after the, their people. But we, the government could be doing much more and doing much wiser things with their money than squander it the way you squander it.
people won't be able to stick it for long more, Minister. And I'm serious about that. I'm not, I'm not blaming you personally. The, the whole gang will be there. The, the teacher we, we rumbled through him there yesterday. He went through him so fast that we couldn't hear what he was saying. Just, bub, 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 bub. And, 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 and no, no, no one knew what he was saying. And we don't know who's the minister, the way he went down with it. Uh, uh, junior ministers anyway. And to think, to think right, that this is, the way, this is the way all money is being squandered. We're getting no accountability at all for, for the money that's, that's being squandered. Right. The pe but the people out there are angry, and I tell you that they're angry. Uh.